Hello, this is Vern, and if you're interested in figuring out how you can inspire, instigate, and influence a guy to raise his commitment level towards you, well, stick around, because I'm going to be sharing with you how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get That Off You Crave. I'm super pumped to be sharing with you how you can inspire and instigate and influence a guy to raise his commitment level towards you. Because you've had the, heard the common problem that most women who are stepping into relationship space, right? Uh, my man keeps telling me he wants to get married today and I keep saying no. He keeps telling me that he wants to have babies yesterday. And I say, no, let's wait three, four, five years, right? Wrong. Most women face the exact opposite problem. And uh, if you're one of them, or if you've been one of them, and you've wanted the guy to commit and he's not committing, I'm gonna be sharing with you right now a few things you can step into that will make a difference. Previewing all of them by saying, don't attempt this with a guy that's not worth your time. Right? If he's a complete player type, if he's a kind of guy who is just, I mean, never, ever, ever going to commit, you, I mean, I could be giving you magic spells here and it wouldn't work, right? Uh, so what I'm going to share with you right now is just plain human psychology that gets guys to take more action if they are the kind that can't take action. Because there's some guys that will be uh, perpetual bachelors. So the first key that I'll give you right now is put yourself in his shoes right? Imagine there's two women. Women A is someone who is feeling happy and radiant and sexy and she knows she's got this awesomeness inside of her and she's willing to express it and carry herself that way. Women B is someone who doubts it, is someone who is waiting for something to take place in her life in some way, some rescuer to come in and make her life brighter because she's not really feeling it and then there's this guy and he connects with woman a he feels an overwhelming sense of light and awesomeness woman b he senses holy shit i'm gonna have to do a lot of i'm gonna have to do a lot here and not necessarily get the result that i want which is for her to really be happy she's always going to want me to do these things for her and will not be happy regardless because she's not happy with herself right these are not things that he's consciously thinking of but he feels that energy he feels the energy of somebody who's feeling awesome and alive and someone who's feeling like my life sucks but when he comes it's going to be great and that's a needy type energy that no man wants so if you put yourself in his shoes that means do the things in your own life that will get the guy any guy who has a brain and is conscious to feel that sense of attraction towards you and to feel like he wants committing to someone who's already doing awesome in her life is simple committing to someone who needs you to make her happy all the time that's a very difficult proposition that few men will actually say yes to so that's number one number two i'm going to be sharing with you right now a value formula extreme value formula right uh, and the formula goes like this. It starts with self-worth. That's the first component. That's you understanding at the gut level vibration that you are worth something, that you're amazing regardless of your flaws. Perfection is not worth. Worth simply means you have awesomeness inside of you and this, regardless of your flaws, you carry yourself with that sense of awesomeness and pride. Plus, so the first component is self-worth plus and there's this little brackets here that I'm doing in the middle. There's a combination of two values that are very important. Light versus depth, right? Light would be two things. Light, the sense of aliveness, but also sense of just being light, carefree, the opposite of heavy, right? But if you can combine lightness, lightheartedness with depth, that's a powerful freaking combination. Because you can go from someone who's funny and flowing and goofy to having a lot of depth. That's a powerful combination. Then you also add sensuality and standards, right? Because if you just have sensuality, no standards, the guy doesn't find extreme value in you. The guy finds extreme horniness in you, but he doesn't feel compelled to introduce you to his mom, right? But if you do this whole thing where you're sensual, you're connected to your senses, and you can actually have sexual tension with him without actually going all the way, 
right? Unless you're exclusive with a dude. If you can play with that sensuality, but have standards that say, well, at the level that we're getting to know each other, this is as far as I can go, and that's it, right? When you can combine these things, self-worth, plus the combination of light and depth, plus the combination of sensuality and standard, that equals extreme value. So play with this, go back to this video, watch it again if you need to, write these things down, and understand how the dichotomy of this two extremes, light and depth, sensuality and standards, and understanding your worth, puts you in the category of extreme value, which is where you're like a, it's a no-brainer for the guy to commit to extreme value if he is the kind that can commit. Again, I keep taking it back to if he's the kind that can commit because many guys will not be there no matter how high value you are. But if he is of the kind that can commit, you show with more extreme value, it's easier for him to say, what do I have to do? Where do I sign? How do I make this work? I don't want her to run away from me. I have to lock this in, right? Number three, see him and let him see you. And what I'm talking about right now is vulnerability. Seeing him means allowing your heart to be a container to hold him. And allow him to see you means that you're able to share your awesomeness, but you're also able to show your flaws, you're able to show uh, your fears, and you're okay with it. You know that you're working towards becoming better. You don't try to pretend that you're uh, flawless. And by you showing yourself the way you are, you allow him to step up in a better way, in a stronger way than he would have uh, originally. Last one, number four, be willing to walk away if you find out there's not a path forward. There's gonna be guys who no matter what, as I said before, not go forward and commit. There's gonna be guys who once you're doing what you need to do, will still not do what it takes to commit. You need to know the difference. You need to be able to walk away if you need to and allow them the space of recognizing in 360 degrees, uh, ice bucket challenge, what they've lost sometimes for them to say, you know what, we'll do this. I'm not saying that that's the first line of <laughs> recourse, right? But if a guy, if you're stepping into, time has gone by, you're doing the things that I'm saying right now, you're seeing him, he's seeing you, you're showing extreme value, uh, you're creating the kind of awesomeness in your life and you're a type A woman that I spoke about, not A as in A personality, A as in you own your shit and you, you're awesome. And he's not committing. You need to be able to say, you know what, sweetie, this is not working right now. Should you want to take this forward? Let's do it. If you don't, I, I'm happy with that as well and have an amazing life. When you're able to have that inner stance that you know what you want and you're clear about it from the start and if it doesn't happen progressively through time, he, you say, I'm gonna walk away. That also allows a guy to wake up sometimes and commit. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, Click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen right here, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to sign to a free webinar. Sign up to a webinar that I'm hosting that will share with you a blueprint to find your soulmate in nine days or less. Very powerful stuff, absolutely free. Have any questions for me, leave a comment. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.